we have been here for 30 minutes now and the car still has not been We are waiting for another car to come so that we can continue with our journey but nobody is agreeing to come because our driver has already been to Welcome to a new show on my channel called My First Time. On this show, I'm going to be visiting different states in Nigeria. I'm not sure about all 36, but I can try. On this episode, I'm going to the city of Kaduna with my sisters, Miriam and Winifred. The park we'll be using today is situated at Mabuchi here in Abuja. We chose this park specifically because Kaduna is their major route. Traveling by road is the most common way to travel within Nigeria. It's mostly done with these Siena cars when the journey is close and buses when the journey is far. At 7.50, we officially began our journey, but you wouldn't guess what happened next. Yes, our car broke down. Just minutes after our driver decided to buy fuel, our car broke down beside the road. Traveling in the morning helps to calm me down, so believe me when I tell you I didn't see this coming. At first, we were calm about the situation, thinking it was a minor problem that would be fixed by the driver and soon we would be on our way. I think you have 11 o'clock if by this time I'm still in Abuja. Maintaining the start in our way. I'm not panicking. I don't know what to tell you. 30 minutes later, after the mechanic was in no show, this stranger stopped by the road to see if he could assist us in any way. Unfortunately, he couldn't. And we were already pissed at this point. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. I know what you are thinking, but just put that thought away. This is Abuja, Nigeria, the capital city of Nigeria. And anti-grazing laws doesn't apply here. On a normal day, in a normal morning, you can see a cow anywhere on your street. Crazy, right? We finally got back on the road thanks to this driver that was sent from the park but we are behind schedule because this is 9 a.m if you've traveled by road you should be used to hawking at its finest they sell anything and everything on the road We arrived by 12 and we just got to the venue of the event that I'm supposed to be attending. So I used the opportunity to vlog this experience and show you guys a little bit, just a little bit of Kaduna. Frustrated from this journey, I started thinking of what I wanted to achieve from this event. But thanks to my cousin who is also an organizer of this event, he got us here in time as the vendors started rolling in. all the way from Abuja. We sell shawarma, small chops, barbecue chicken. Games were set up and other vendors were set up as well so i decided to myself to just have fun wait for the people to come and you know ask a couple of questions and see where it goes from there this is my first time in kaduna actually wow. so what do you have to say about kaduna as a whole if you have like one or two words to describe kaduna what would that be um, uh, kaduna is i'll just say amazing okay it's fun uh, there are plenty i can't say just one word it's just you shop Yes, that's the word. Very fun. Like, okay. I wasn't expecting some things that is happening here. I was saying incredible. 
Because you know, so many people have stereotypes about Kaduna as a place. So, yes. And say, hearing people say it's fun, you know, it's amazing. That is something that people yeah. love and they're trying to find out. You know, me, I'm, I'm starting my travel journey. Yeah. So, this is like one of the first. And this is my first time in Kaduna, like I said. So, I'm trying to experience something fun here. Yeah. I wish I wish you could stay for more years. Yeah. Bringing people together, socializing, yeah. is really good for Kaduna State. All work and no play makes Faith a very, 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 very dull girl. So I decided to take a break and have fun, you know, enjoy the event. It's actually a costume event and so many people did not dress up and I wasn't surprised at all. Nigerians are like that. What actually got me excited is the amount of young people that showed up for this event. But Kaduna is like, um... <laughs> Not fun, yeah. but fun in ways. Yeah. Okay. People believe it's just dead and dry. And, okay. But then, if you know them, based on people you know, you know that Kanda is actually fun. All right. What about you? She doesn't go out. <laughs> you don't go anywhere. <laughs> Before I knew it, it was night time and the dance floor went on fire. A lot of people came out to dance and just have fun. So I decided to change my outfit and get into the party, you know, network and interview more people about what they feel and how they feel about living in Kaduna. Baby, I'm missing a lot. Kaduna is fun. Okay. It's cool. The place is cheap in a way. Cheap, yeah. yeah. Cheaper than here, yeah, cheap. Okay. And you know your way around. It's nice. It's fun. You just need one or two fun people. Because of how I got a lot of content from yesterday, I decided to put the remaining part of yesterday into a new video. Driving around in the morning, we got to see the city of Kaduna before eventually heading to the car park. And then we get I think I'd love to come back to Kaduna again so that I can experience it fully. Thank you to my cousin who was my designated driver for this weekend. There are so many fun parts that I missed in this part one, so wait for part two. You know you're gonna be big with this. Yes, you're gonna I grow really with hope. this. You'll meet Obio. Yes, yeah, so I'll take you around. Just give me the I'm chance. Back tomorrow. <laughs> Please make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Thank you for watching.